Hey guys, welcome back to Tomorrow Rule 16. I am your host, Javon, and today we're back with another how to run on a low end PC game. Today we're testing out Darksiders 3 on my Intel Core i7 4790 with the Intel HD 4600 integrated graphics. We're running dual channel memory at 8GB of RAM, and as you can tell, once again, i7 doesn't really matter, it doesn't play much of a part. It's more of a G this is more to help the GPU more than the CPU, because if the CPU is a bottleneck, there's not much you can do. Anyway, as you can see, Darksiders 3 is actually very playable on low-end uh, systems. I remember playing it on the Intel HD 620 single channel memory RAM, and it held up quite well. As you can see, we're getting 18 FPS right now. We are running at 720p on the lowest preset, and it, it runs. You know, this could be a lot worse. This is playable, but we have some tips and tricks to get this game running over 30 FPS at all times. I want you guys to stick around, and I hope you guys enjoy this content. Don't forget, please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, and stick around for more epic content. Let's get into some of the tweaks. Here we are in the now in the C drive, where we're going to be looking for the dark side of this tree config file. It's very simple. It's going to be in your C, users, whatever you have your name as here, app data, local, and we're going to scroll all the way down until we find Darksiders 3. We're going to go into save the config, and when there's no editor, I'm doing this extremely fast, but hey, slow it down. Now, we don't actually have anything for game user settings. We already have everything here in game user settings to the lowest. Changing this to 50% won't actually do anything. So this is how the game will play. It'll still be at around the 19 FPS. What you actually need to do is go into your engine.ini. Right click here and under system settings, well you can put in system settings. You're just going to put in R screen percentage. 50%. That's all you'll need to do to get this game to run over 30 FPS. Let's get back into the game. As you can see, we're back to the 720p once again, but this time we have the resolution scaling, the internal resolution scaling, down to 50%. And as you can see, it's an amazing performance boost over what we had before. With just that 50%, we are getting over 30 FPS. Now, obviously, it's going to look like crap because it's 50% of 720p, which is about 360p. If you have something higher end than the Intel HD 4600, you can do, uh, you know, higher. You don't need to go all the way down to 50%, but this is a starting point for you all. Now, there were a lot of other tweaks I could have used on this, but they would make the game look way crappier and because we're getting over 30 FPS I feel like there's no need to show you anything else at this point but there's stuff that could have pushed this I could have pushed this to 60 FPS on average but the game would have taken a serious nosedive in graphical quality here I think this is manageable I believe this is manageable to play at this point in time Haven. a haven for what vermin but this is the second game I've managed to make run on Intel HD 4600, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this once again. Don't forget, please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, and stick around for more epic content. I'm having big plans for this series of how to run low games on low-end systems. So we will be testing out a bunch of stuff on this hardware. It's going to be crazy, man. I'm just going to get into this boss fight here because this is a really hectic. I feel like this will be, this would work out a lot. This boss will definitely work, so... I forgot how to lock on. Oh yeah, there you go. I think I remembered how to lock on at the wrong time. But it is running fine. To be fair, I thought it was running fine at the 18 and 20 FPS. That wasn't the worst for integrated graphics. But hey, you want the extra boost? You got it. This extra boost will definitely make this game feel a hell of a lot smoother. And this game is a fast paced game, so it doesn't hurt to play this game smoothly. Does not hurt. Doesn't hurt, man. Listen, lady, I don't need all this in my life. There's so much destruction and stuff going on, and it's still handling itself quite well. You're not good enough to face me. I feel like the game is good enough now, though. Oh, crap, that's not good. 
I've made a mistake. I've made a serious Oh my gosh, that screen tearing. Oh crap, I thought I didn't I thought I nearly did it again. I was like I didn't I did I just do it again? Yes lady, it's time to go right back down again. Oh, how Whoa, 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 how did that one hit me? Let's call it the day. <laughs> Pretty. Come and get it. Oh, that's I must say, this took a lot easier than Sherlock Holmes did. I felt I had to do a lot more. I did not. I got the game running over 30 FPS on average easily. Now, what I would recommend though, if you are using integrated graphics, you can frame cap the game at 30 FPS with MSI Afterburner. I feel like that would be the safest bet, just to frame cap the game. Mistress, and you would get a smooth experience. If you father, frame cap the game, you probably you could carry up the resolution everything. to 60%. The internals is about 50, from 50 to 60, and you probably would still manage it. Because we are still getting dips below 30 every once in a while, but not very often. And that's the 1% low at this point. Which isn't bad. But nonetheless, I hope you guys enjoyed another video. Can You can leave a comment down below if you'd like to see me make another low-end PC test on next. I'll get to it as soon as I can. Probably right now, depending on when it is posted. I'll see you guys next time.